Hello guys, and welcome to episode 2 of my in Sodom Let's Play. I have a terrible FPS right now because... I don't know why. Spawn is just... laggy as hell with all these item frames right now. Look at this disco thing over here. Come on. Yeah. If that's not a rave, I don't know what it is. So... Um, today Orion, the nice Lorian guy, uh, you are my star shining on me now. Um, <coughs> Lorian has made a post on the Reddit that the death games, all these FPS, something is, I think, downloading or something, whatever, um, that something shady is going on down here. AKA, the death games have been installed. <laughs> so I think it works like this. You take a book, type in, hey, fuck us, my name is Sergius, and I will kill you. So bring it on, sign it, and put it in here. And then I think we, sh we cycle the names and get a target, but I Whatever. Um, this this the oh, this FPS is killing me. This arrows. I think. Um. Oh, I might be uploading something. Whatever. The death games. Welcome to the death games. To join the games, please sign one of the books provided. Feel free to write any taunt or information you would like in the book. Sign it and place it in the hopper. Once your name is in the death game system, you may be hunted by any of the other death game members. By placing your name in the death game system, you agree to not whine or cry about being killed by any member taking part in the death games. You also agree that if you are killed, you will pay one diamond to the person who kills you. Step 1. Read the name on the signed book. Read anything that may be written in the book. Leave the book in the death game's chest when done leaving it. When done reading it. So step one, obviously, we uh read the name of the tenth book. Aha. Uh -huh. So there's no step one as in signing a book. Ha uh -huh. or signing the names, whatever. Step two leave your gear in the chest, provide it, and take the named armor and weapons. We get um, balanced armor and stuff, so we, um, people like me, who have like this armor at the moment, <laughs> just fairy boots, yay, and OP sword and OP bow, um, have a chance to kill people in random OP armor, like, like, first box in his full diamond gear, yeah. Um, <coughs> step three, become the hunter. And then we kill them with all our um, nice gear. Rules: Leave any uh, one. Leave any of your personal gear in the chest provided. So we give him all our shit and mm, no, nah, I don't think so. Two: Take the weapons and armor provided. Okay. Oh, I could leave my my own stuff in my own base. I think <coughs> because. Low would steal my stuff, I, I assume. Um, three, you may use any potions to your advantage. However, the killing blow must be made by one of the named weapon provided. So, we can use pots um, to get fire resistance. I assume uh, I could use like gravel as well and lava. Let's just, let's just, I assume. You can use gravel, sand, and lava. TNT to your advantage in the death games. If pots are allowed. Let's see that how it turns out. Um where are we now? Um If you if you fail to kill your target, you owe them one diamond and must clear the name from the chest. Which chest? <laughs> okay. Five. If you kill your target, they owe you one diamond. 
and must have their names cleared from the chest. Um, which chest? <laughs> Six. Do not look for a specific name in the chest. If the person in the chest is not online, you may cycle the names until an online player's name comes up. So, that's how it is. If people are online, you cycle, and one player is online, and you kill him, or something. Seven. Well, six. After, um, I assume that when people are online, you will have to be prepared to get killed. So, it seems a bit fast-paced. Uh, uh, seven. After. Yeah, yeah. I would say to no, no to lava and TNT. How about drowning them or starving them? Haha! -ha! If you starve somebody, I think that's <laughs> that would be awesome. I would love to let Zippo starve in a small, dirty hole. <laughs> um, I'm not even gonna up. After the fight, please return weapons and armor to the chest in the death game's room. Eight. You may only hunt players who have entered the death games. But I want to kill Gardax and Jotland. Ha. What's that sound? Oh, it's outside. <laughs> That's the um, helicopter outside. And I just didn't, didn't know there was a helicopter outside. <laughs> I just had to do this, this very, very deep and dark humming inside of me. And I was like, is this a Minecraft sound? What has he fighting done now? Why is there an, is a humming in the game? Anyway, nine. Any and all disputes will be settled by the Ryan. Thank you and enjoy the hunt. Okay. Um, I think I will join the death games now. Um, hello, my dear friends. My hello, my dear friends. Aru. Aru. I am uh, the uh, famous fairy juicero. I have uh, pledged to a killer you all. And now something. Ich werde eure Leichen schänden. Type that in Google Translate, please. Hard. <sighs> Hello, my dear friends. I am uh, the uh, famous fairy juice. I have uh, pledged uh, to uh, kill you all. And then my text. Sign. Enter book title. Japanese. <laughs> uh, it's better. So yeah, I think that's all fine like this. <laughs> and now we place the sign book and hopper to enter the death games. I think we we'll try. I would this empty now, click this and get well just Ah two names. So I place these two back in here and they are all in the cycle. It's empty now. Press again. And I get Batman. Oh. Ooh. That's cool. So I uh, will uh, wait an hour to see how it turns out. But now I know that at least Amber and the dearest Birdman have signed up. So, from this point on, our lives are in danger. I can't wait to uh, play in this. So now it's time to boost our gear which is only the fairy booster now, 
I want to repair those boots. I want to make a nice chest piece. Just just nice, but nothing OP. And I want to make some good iron armor as well. So I'm geared and ready for the death games. I want to be OP. XP Gardex. I want to be OP, but I want to be protected from all evil sources. So I will see you in a second. Level 30. And click, click. The fairy boots have been a bit repaired a bit. Let's see what this costs. 32, so but I mean 30 as well, but that's part one of my armor. <laughs> this is the armor of wisdom. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ha ha! This works. Uh, our pants are pretty nice as well, to be honest. Yeah. And I'm back. Um, okay, my armor is done. Uh, it's done now. It's not OP. I've got nine armor points, but it's pretty strong by now. I won't show you the stuff yet, but I might do it after a kill or something, or after I successfully killed the guy who killed me or who's trying to kill me. So you'll see that in time. Okay, now I'm at my base. Um, you can see. I think you can see that it's not finished at all, or not nearly finished. It's just, well, at one point I will take this flag down because it's just there. Because I didn't know uh, what to put there. It used to be uh, one giant um, cyan glass pane which um, cut over through here. But I think having rectangular giant glass panes is more realistic than having a weird sunglasses shaped <laughs> Pain, I don't know. So for now, I will keep my German flag there until I know something um, better. Um, there will be the outside will be um, a path leading to the coast, where some kind of bridge will go over to the spawn area, so people can be connected to me. Just in general, um, the forest will be um, re regrown to reach the coast over here, so it's just a really deep forest with a very, very dark path leading to my, uh, yeah. It's not a cottage, I think, but it's just, um, maybe some kind of, <laughs> yeah, deep forest dimension, which will be a bit creepy, I hope. Um, what else? Yeah, um, I'm planning to make this end area not like a giant hall, but instead I will want to have like these walls over here which cut off the area on three sides so it's like um, a giant like a f small path leading to an area that's split into two giant halls and the floor like the uh, the upstairs where we'll put some small rooms for living, for guests to live there uh, maybe a dining room or something. We'll see. And some chillax areas viewing the outside. <sighs> it's so beautiful. You can even see flakes area over there. Yeah, uh, this flakes area. Um, my rooms are all very tiny, so there's only enough room for like one thing. Maybe a potion room. My own sleeping rooms over there. Well. Yay! And I want to make a portal room below, but yeah, that's what I'm going to build at this moment. You've seen that I took down a 12 from the, uh, the numbering. <laughs> the numbering! But I did just moved it down here in my uh, basement area. It's the same blocks from the 12. But is it a 12? Or is it a 21? Or is it a 51? Or is it a 15? Who knows? But yeah, this area is um, supposed to be yeah um, my basement. <laughs> obviously, I'm going to have um, one floor going uh, like this, but deeper down here to branch mines, and then a few side passages with all this pattern stuff. Pattern stuff, yeah, that's my German awesomeness. 
yeah, I'll dig out this area and show you how it looks if it's uh, like all one giant room. I think this is a nice, uh, nicely shaped and nicely sized area for a, like a middle room of a basement. But yeah, if you're watching me, by the way, um, don't expect some awesome and very nice builds because I don't consider myself a good builder. I just never, I <laughs> never want to make uh, builds on creator servers before I'm starting to. Um, build them on the server. <laughs> so just basically start things and see how they turn out. And sometimes they turn out nicely, like this one. I think this one looks nice. All my all my shops are all impromptu builds, if you can call it impromptu. <laughs> In that case, uh -uh. but yeah, it's just stuff I came up with and then built. Sometimes it looks like shit, and sometimes it looks like awesomeness. <laughs> uh, let me put this pattern down here. Oh, actually, I can talk to you. I can try talking to you. <laughs> um, yesterday has been the day of the uh, FIFA football. If you're American soccer, I'm sorry. FIFA football um, World Cup 2014. The group draw has been like drawn. The groups and. Germany, my country, has been drawn to Group G. It's the the seventh group of of eight groups, and it's a pretty tough group. But I'm looking forward to it. Um, we got drawn together with uh, the United States, which is going to be a fun match, I think, because the, the last um, uh, match between Germany and USA was last year, and the US won that game with four to three. <laughs> Like they won with four goals against us with three goals. <laughs> I can't just say in, uh, the the German word in that two, four to three. I don't know. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I don't think so. I'm making no sense right now. I think. Um, but yeah. Then there's Ghana. We've known we known Ghana from the last World Cup. We had them in our group where we had them in our group stage as well, and defeated them one one zero. I watched that match against Ghana for three years ago in in public viewing um, in Hamburg. That's like a a, pl a a place called Heiligengeistfeld. It's like the the field of the Holy Ghost, and it's like a giant flat area in the middle of Hamburg, but in the like the quite central area of Hamburg, and there's been like tens of thousands of people watching football together and it's so awesome. I love public viewing. I can't wait for the next uh, World Cup. <laughs> it's so cool. Uh, 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 uh. Then And the fourth opponent in the group is Portugal. We had Portugal in the last Euro Cup and we beat them as well. I think 2-1 and one or something. And I can't wait to see Cristiano Ronaldo. It's like their star player <laughs> to get just wrecked by Germany <laughs> again. <laughs> because before the uh, the draws, he said that he only wants to meet like uh, doesn't want to meet one team, which is Germany. Same as the U.S. coach, just we don't want Germany. We don't want Germany. And then who they they get they, they just and who do they get? They get Germany. Yeah. Hmm. What's up here? Uh, one, two, three. Boop, boop, boop. And see how this looks. I need some more blocks actually. Uh, let me just put this out here. Twelve. How does this look in in total? I think this could be a nice area. This these stats will lead down to bedrock. This hat, maybe I don't know. Uh, it's so so sweet to talk just while building. <sighs> Life is crazy. 
I have no idea what I'm talking here. Um, but yeah. I am just trying to get into this um, because I will have interest in doing solo commentary. And I just want to get comfortable with, with uh, talking to an audience and comfortable speaking like fluently without being awkward, which I was in the last Ricardo UHC season. And I just want to get a bit more comfortable with talking in English in, in a solo let's play. I might do some other solo let's plays again just to get back into it because I want to be like Sunny, like Zippo, like Lo, who are all doing these awesome let's plays on the server and I just want to join them. <sighs> so this is it for episode 2 and I hope I haven't been too awkward, which I, <laughs> which I am. Off the pfft. whatever. <laughs> I can't live without you. See ya. Whatever. <laughs>